Hello and welcome to the Easy Solution Systems tutorial videos. I'm Jesse Brown and today we'll be going through backing up your data in Retail Man. So there are three options here. You can either choose to do OneDrive, which most Windows PCs have installed on them already, or Google Drive. I'm going to be using Google Drive as it holds 15 gigabytes capacity for the free drive, as OneDrive only holds five gigabytes capacity. And you can choose to pay money for more if you'd like. The third option is by using a program called Cobian Backup, which I'll go through a bit later on in the video. Backing up with any of these methods is highly recommended. So if anything goes wrong, there is always a way to restore. Here, I'm on the Google Drive website to download the application. If you'd like to find it, just go to google.com and type in Google Drive Download and you should be able to find it on this page. So you just need to download this and once you've downloaded and installed Google Drive, the installation will create a drive on your PC where you can drag and drop things into the drive which allows it to be backed up online. You'll see the drive I'm talking about later in the video. So here you can see when I press the button in the top right corner, it gives the option to back up. If we want to allow users or employees to have access to backing up Retail Man, we need to go to the maintenance, user settings, left click on employee and choose security. We're going to choose maintenance. There is an option here, restore data from backup. Zero is off and three is full access. If we change user to employee, when they click the button in the top right, the option to back up is no longer there because they don't have the permission to do this action. We're going to change back to master user. Now to back up, press the button in the top right corner, click on backup. Something to note about the backup is this doesn't back up Retail Man itself, just the data in Retail Man. So this will back up only the data that you have entered into the program. The best way to back up is to have at least one backup online. So a cloud or an online drive and an offline backup somewhere on a server or an external drive, etc. If we have a backup online and the computer or server happens to crash or dies, the data will still be backed up as all you'll need to do is log in with an email address and password for the Google Drive to retrieve the data again. Now we'll click on the three dots to choose a destination. At the bottom, we're going to choose the Google Drive, G Drive. This may be another letter other than G if you already have a G Drive, but the default name should be uh, Google Drive, which was created when we installed Google Drive onto Windows. Choose My Drive, and I'm going to create a subfolder called Arman Backup. We will choose yes to create the new folder. Now we just wait for the backup to process. As you can see here, Retail Man has backed up as a zip folder. We choose OK and Retail Man should close. Next, we're going to go into Explorer. And as you can see on the side, there is a Google Drive G, which was installed from the Google Drive application. We choose My Drive. Arman Backup. As you can see here, the file has been backed up and saved as a zip file. The file size has actually been compressed, so the original size of the data was about 20 megabytes. Here it has been compressed to 600 kilobytes, or just under half a megabyte, which is great. You can see the name Arman for Retail Man, the year, month, and day of the backup, so 2022. 01 or January and 21 is the day. The final option of backing up Retail Man is used in another program called Cobian Backup. So we're going to open that. We right click in the left section and choose new task. Here you have the option to name the task to whatever you like. You can go through the other options here as you'd like to and leave backup type as full. If we choose the file tab, you have source and destination. Here you can choose the RMAN directory to backup under the source option. 
and destination is where you'll choose to save the backup under any of these options. Here under the schedule tab you can see there are options to choose when the backup will occur and the amazing things about this is that it's automated for you so you won't even need to think about having to do it. So you have the once off backup, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, there's even a timer, uh, manually if you really want to, even on startup when you boot the server PC or main PC. You can also set it to shut down immediately after the backup. This is a really good program that we highly recommend you use. And the great thing is that this program is free to use from the Cobian backup site. I hope this video has been helpful and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.